The issue about contraception cannot be overemphasized. And as always, we need more men in the discussion about family planning. We need more men to be involved about family planning. We need more men to be involved in the topics about contraception. But we need to also understand if that's the reality on ground. How many men are involved when it comes to family planning? How many men see family planning as a topic that is important enough to discuss? And not just about the discussions, how many men now go the extra mile to be physically involved in family planning? And as always, we are in the streets and we need to find out from the people themselves. In a man and a woman, mm -hmm. who decides the number of children they should have? I can't really say. It depends on both their plan. I feel they should come together to decide. Okay. So it's a joint decision? Yes. It's the man now. It's the man that decides. So if the man says we must have five, they must have five. No, actually, it's a collective discussion, yeah. But you know, in Nigeria, women, we like to, we like to use the same tool. Yeah. Has your partner ever followed you to the gynecologist? No. Yes. Have you ever had a discussion with your partner about family planning or contraception? Uh, yes, I have. Who started it? I did. <laughs> um, well, not really, but one time, yeah. One time. One time. Once. Who started the discussion? Was it you or him? Him. Do you think talking about family planning, honestly, openly, and, you know, you know truthfully, help with the decisions you make about family planning? Yes, I think it does, actually. Like, it helps you know um, what you're going into and the expectations you should have so you don't necessarily have to, like, build castles in the air when it comes to family planning. Yes, I feel it helps because when you, when you discuss it, it gives you uh, this a hint about what is going to happen. You can't just go ahead and start having babies. You, when you talk about it, you, you'll be able to tell, okay, someone like me, for instance, I do tell my man, I just want two kids, so I just want two kids, I don't want more than two. And he, he concord, he agrees to it. And the way we are discussing it, it will help in marriage. We know that after two kids, we are going for family planning, we are sealing it. It's actually very important, you know, that to know what you are really doing in the family, because you know, you know what it is you are getting into. Normally, you are getting into a family for reproduction's sake. You have to plan it to know how you'd be able to take care of the entire family economically, and you know, so you won't exceed your budget. Imagine someone having eight kids and can't get up for them. So it's actually very, very important. Thank you very much, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs>